Diana Denmark here, ra ra ra. Happy Monday morning. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, I certainly did. I can now officially call myself an ice swimmer. Uh, as many of you know, I'm a winter bather and I got roped into doing the, the Danish championships in ice swimming. Uh, and that was yesterday and we, I had such a fantastic day with the ladies. Uh, and Vivica and I were just saying it, it was just such a fantastic event and everybody uh, was there for each other. Anyway, uh, I, I filmed as much as I could and there will be a, a video coming. But anyway, I got the t-shirt, so I'm officially an, an, an ice swimmer. <gasps> and there is my little trophy. So ice day ME, East Filming 2020. Anyway, I, as I said, more on that another time. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to have a question and answer session. It's been a wee while since I've done one of those. Today, the focus on the question and answer ses uh, session, if I can say that correctly, is on the new year, new course that I've been running with you the last couple of weeks. Now, I, I do these uh, little challenges, these little courses from time to time. What we do, we did the Bahuki challenge, we've done the Fly Leader Refresher course, uh, back to school in September course. And all it is, is going through the basics uh, setting up some daily routines, whether you need something very structured or something a bit more loose. If you're working on goals, how to implement those, how to make them part of your daily routine, how to keep yourself motivated. I talked about that in week one of the New Year New Year course. Last week, I also went through once again all the Fly Lady five zones in your house uh, for the cleaning system. And, uh, and oh, as usual, when, when I do these challenges, a lot of questions come up. So I'm going to be addressing those today. Uh, and, and just before I get into the questions, just a, another reminder. Uh, my channel, my channel here down in Denmark, I keep things very positive. I'm here to be your cheerleader. You will never hear me saying, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I am here making these videos, whether you like it or not, because it keeps me accountable and I love making the videos. And in return, I, um, I expect a bit of respect. You do not uh, leave unwanted comments or start arguing with uh, people who are commenting here. If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all, as we say in Denmark. And you can jog on somewhere else. This is not that kind of YouTube channel where you get to just... Burp. So anyway, keep, keep me a light and bright. Uh, and, and also, um, just a reminder, uh, I try and answer as many questions as I can. There are hundreds of comments coming every day, not just on the recent videos that I'm making, but also stuff that I've been, you know, I made three years ago. Uh, YouTube, Instagram, and I, I have um, a policy. I do not answer private messages. Uh, and, and my Facebook is uh, for family and friends. So if you've got a question that you like answered, you have to put it in a public forum. I, I can't go into the, uh, the, the private stuff um, for, for my privacy, security, so I hope, you will, uh, I hope you'll understand that. Anyway, I, I, here are the questions, and a lot of these questions, they come up all the time. Uh, the first one, yeah. When I was doing the cleaning last week, and I was showing you me cleaning on the various zones, a question that comes up all the time is, okay, Diane, when do you clean your... Uh, for example, when do you clean your blinds, or when do you clean your outside windows, uh, or when do you uh, water the plants? Or I'm going to tell you here, you're asking the wrong question. Well, no, listen, you're not asking the wrong question, you're asking the wrong person. Okay, have a wee think about that. I want you to step back and think about why, why are you asking this question? Uh, it's great that you, you know, keep asking the questions. But on things like that, I don't want you to worry about what I'm doing in my house. As I've said to you before, we are all different. You may have uh, 10 cats, uh, 15 people sharing your house. You may have a huge mansion. You may uh, be living in a caravan. You may be living in a cave. It doesn't matter what I'm doing or what anybody else is doing. You just put on your blinkers and you look at your surroundings, your schedule, your life. You may be uh, looking after 
uh, a loved one who is ill, uh, you may be uh, recently retired, empty nester, you may be working two jobs and have five children. We're all different. What I'm showing you here is giving you what you need to know to make up these little routines, how to use getting things done system so we're not getting all that uh, chaos in our heads and our lives. But when it comes down to individual things, what I want you to look at is, okay, uh, what, what kind of standard of cleaning do you want for yourself? Uh, for example, let, let's, take, uh, let's take the blinds. Uh, now, we don't have any blinds in the kitchen, but we have blinds in the living room and in the bedrooms. Uh, if you have blinds, okay, what kind of blinds do you have? It will, the, the, the amount of time that you need to spend cleaning on them or how often you need to clean them will depend on what type of blinds you have. Are they metal? Are they wood? Are they uh, some kind of fabric? Uh, do you smoke inside your home? Do you have pets? Do you have kids who are touching the, the blinds uh, with their Nutella colored fingers? You know, don't, don't worry what I'm doing, but think to yourself, okay, I've got blinds, I know they need cleaned, and just say, you know, work backwards and say, okay, uh, they get pretty grotty, so maybe I need to clean them once a month when we're in the zone where the blinds are. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add it to your, uh, if, you, if you worked along with me and made a control journal, and added some cleaning lists to that, you can add it to your cleaning lists, you can add it to your routines if it's something that needs done every day. So when you've got a question like that, turn it around and ask yourself the question, how often do you need to clean your windows? You see me cleaning the inside of my windows, for example. I do that when we are in whatever the zone is. So when we're in zone two for the kitchen, I clean the windows inside here. Uh, for the outside windows, we have a window cleaner. In Denmark, it's a very common thing to have a window cleaner. Uh, it doesn't cost much money and they have the ladders. We, we're on three floors here. I can't remember, I think we've got about 50 windows uh, in our house and he does them very quickly. He comes, I think, about three times a year. Maybe you are outside and you're cleaning your own windows. That's fine, just do what works for you. So. Next time you have a, a question like that, turn it around and ask yourself how often it needs cleaned or how often you want to clean it. Okay, uh, another one that comes up um, often, the, there was a lady who said she had some, she was feeling resentment that she was the only one who wants to have a clean house in the family. Once again, I'm gonna to say to you that when you want to make these changes, if, you, if you've uh, found my videos be because you're just not, not getting anywhere with things, uh, you're finding it tough with the cleaning or organizing yourself. It's got to start with you uh, because often, all too often, the family have heard you saying this before, okay, now we're gonna get it all clean. And then you kind of go a bit, a bit berserk and you go over the top and then you start nagging ev everybody else when you actually haven't got your own you know, house in order. So you just work on your stuff uh, keep going with your routines and see if you can be consistent with it because in the beginning it's kind of you're excited that you found something new and this time it's going to work but unless you're consistent yourself uh, the rest of the family isn't going to come on board with it they're going to say well you know <laughs> mum fell off uh, the wagon after a couple of days well you know she, she's just going to find something else start with yourself but also you need to look at your things in the house I mean Let's be honest here, many of us, it's our stuff that's lying around the house. Uh, it's all things that we have chosen for the house. It's our knickknacks, it's our collections, uh, whatever it is. Does the family actually have a designate, designated spot for their stuff? I, I, hear, I hear it all the time about uh, women who are like, oh, the husband leaves everything everywhere. Well, does he have a space for his stuff or are you, you know, taking over all the spaces? It's really helpful for, for everybody in the family to have a des designated space for their stuff. Just like in the kitchen, you've got a designated space for uh, keeping your pantry items. and you, you've seen in my drawers before, boom, boom. Um, you, know, you know where all your pots and pans are, you know the cutlery goes there. By having designated spots for everything, it's really easy also for the, for the family to put their stuff away. When they come in the door, is there space in the entry for them to hang up their coats? 
Is there a space where they put their school bags? Is there a space where they take off their shoes? Do you actually have uh, an, an area, a holding area or an area where shoes go? So we're just working forwards all, all the time, organising places in our house that we've got designated spots for everything because that's what makes it really, really easy to keep things clean. Because once you've got a spot for things to go, once it's got a little home where it can live, then it's really easy to do a, a pupa, which is a pick up, a P -U -P -A, and call it a pupa, uh, pick up and put it away. It's really easy to clear things up when it's got a place to go to. If you're standing there saying, oh, where does this go to? You, you know how it ends. It ends up being thrown on like the kitchen table here or in the entryway and it just sits there and it attracts like a magnet, all other things. So just you work on your own stuff first uh, and you'll find that the family come on board because I, I was like that in the beginning and the family did not want to hear <laughs> any more about Fly Lady in the beginning. And in the, in the beginning, I, I really recommend that you just, you know, keep stum, don't say anything, just work on it. Uh, but you, having said that, you can, you know, work along with the kids, show them the power of taking a timer and just working for five or ten minutes in one area in their room. Do not do that thing of pushing it down their throats and say, okay, we're going to use the timer and we're going to work for five minutes going through um, your sock drawer and then keep resetting the timer and the poor kid is sitting there, you know, crying and not wanting to do it. Got to take it in small chunks. So uh, that was about family. Uh, oh, and uh, something else that funny that came up because in, in the first week of our little New Year, New You course, I went back into the, the videos that I had given you for the Bahuki camp and back then uh, I, I looked quite different then and a lot of you have said oh you're really interested in the Dressing Your Truth program, uh, you know Dressing Your Truth uh, with Carol Tuttle and if you, if you don't know about it I've got a whole lot of videos on my um, wardrobe uh, and clothes swap playlist that are up there. If you're having trouble determining which type you are, don't make the mistake I, I made of focusing on your personality because I, I, went, I went the wrong way. It's all to do with your uh, facial features and your energy, you know, what kind of drive you have if you're push forward or upward or um, a, a more still energy. If, if you are having trouble identifying your type, uh, Carol has done new Dressing Your Truth uh, videos that they're, they're available on YouTube for free and then there's also the, uh, the course which is available for free and if you're still having trouble I can really recommend, I, I'm in the lifestyle group, that, that's a paid service and I've got nothing to do uh, with, uh, with Dressing Your Truth, I've now become friends with Carol but uh, uh, through uh, uh, our kind of mutual <laughs> admiration but I'm a member of the Lifestyle Group and it's been so useful to see how the others approach things, uh, outfits of the day, you know, OOTD as it's called, um, and also uh, just learning a lot about my own energy, how I am vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the family. So it's, it's not just been about um, the outfits and you know the hairstyle and uh, the makeup and uh, me feeling happier it's just been interacting with people around me so it's been a fantastic thing anyway um on to the next question what's time here yeah, because you know me I like to keep it to 15 minutes uh, I, I want to also go back to what we we're talking about at the end of the first week a lot of you were setting goals for this year and I talked to you about this that you know saying it aloud you know i want to do more exercise this year or i want to eat more uh, plant-based food or uh, i want to walk the dog more and i said you know it's really good having that that goal um or you know whatever it is but we have to translate that into our daily routines if for example i said if you, if you said that you want to be um get more exercise you have to break that down into little steps, just like you do with the getting things done system. You've got your goal. What's your next action step? What's the thing that's going to bring you to, forwards towards that goal? And 
we need to put it into either our daily routines or our weekly routines, monthly routines, and, and keep reviewing that. Uh, and I said, you know, say you were on the exercise, then you want to get more, be more active this year. Um, what does that entail? Does it entail signing up for a yoga class? Does it involve uh, making sure that when you do your evening routine at night that you get your, your yoga gear together? Uh, ready to go the next day you know have you looked out your outfit um, perhaps if you're trying to eat better are you making up a packed lunch for you to take the next day to work so that you're not stopping off at 7-eleven to to just buy something to grab and go just, just all those things we're, we're, we're just breaking up into little baby steps uh, just the way that I said to you with this uh, ice swimming thing I'm a winter bather. I'm not a swimmer. I don't have swimming techniques. Uh, the, the only swimming technique I have, because uh, I've been for a winter bather for seven, seven, eight years, is trying to keep my head above the water, watching out for the waves, and uh, during the summer looking out for stinging jellyfish. That, that, that's my technique. But when, when Sue, my friend Sue, when she, she pushed us and said, oh, come on, you, you can do it, you know, you can easily swim it, and it was this kind of a fear and panic, but I thought, you know, my words for this year is accept. I'm going to accept these things and say, you know what? Yeah, I can do it because I've trained for it. I was training for it. And as soon as I said to her, okay, we're going to do it, uh, Vibek and I, we've been swimming uh, 30 meters uh, every time we've been down at the sea. Uh, we have been, you know, mentally preparing for it, reading into it, getting tips from the others. Um, just, you know, going to that competition yesterday, I was swimming in two different uh, heats. I was swimming um, 25 metres and 25 metres, really. And, and just the very thing of, of knowing that, oh, I had to remember and pack, you know, I had my packing list of uh, two separate costumes. So I had a dry one to take on in the second heats, because when you're standing around in the cold, it, it's not much fun. You know, it was um, four four or five degrees yesterday, which is about, what, uh, 38F. Um, so I, I was prepared for it. I had prepared over the course of, I don't know, since uh, September, October, and I, I was mentally prepared for it and I was physically prepared. And I did it. I mean, who would have thought? So it is just, I hope I, I can show you that these things are not within, are, are with their reach. If we can just put it into our daily routines, break it up and see what we need to do to get there, you're going to get there and, and hopefully I can make it uh, fun for you. So uh, let me just check if there's anything else, any last questions. Oh yeah, well, one last thing, there was a lovely success story. I mean, there's been tons of success stories in the last couple of weeks, but the, there was uh, one, one lady who commented, I can't remember if it was Instagram or on, on YouTube, and she said, you know, she was feeling uh, the beginning of this challenge like, ah, oh, she didn't want anything uh, structured, that, you know, the structure of routines. But she's realized that having those routines, like I've said before, is like a safety net. You, you know, everything is planned and you don't need to worry about all the, the, the daily stuff. And it really frees up your time to work on, uh, you know, work projects or, um, whatever your goals are, but it's really been, it's really opened her up to, to more things and also it's taken away that stress. So if you haven't already done it with that, sorry, I've got that she knows this morning, uh, go back and, and have a look at week one and week two of our new year, new year course. Um, the rest of the week, I'm, I'm just going to be popping in and out with my videos. I have, I'm going to a clothes swap, woo! And I, I know you love the clothes swap videos. Keep decluttering out there. And I know a lot of you have started holding your own clothes swap parties. Uh, there will also be a video coming about, da, 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 there's my trophy again, uh, the, the ice swimming championships here in Denmark. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, there'll probably be some other stuff as well. Anyway, I, I will see you on uh, Instagram. Oh, and that was a funny thing. <laughs> Yesterday, I got into the hot tub after my first um, swim. And this very uh, lovely lady, hi, Aided. Uh, she said, oh, you're Diane in Denmark. I follow you <laughs> on Instagram. And she is, um, uh, she, she's, she's a nice swimmer and she was swimming long distances. I met Edith and uh, her, her lovely daughter. So anyway, hi to Edith. 
uh, BCs. Uh, anyway, I, I will be on Instagram uh, the next few days and otherwise I shall be popping in uh, with some more videos. So anyway, all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish spring, spring is coming, who could be with you? Um, oh, hold on, hi since there and uh, got the tulips going and uh, I shall see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.